My name is P.K. Basu. I'm professor of civil and environmental engineering and also director of graduate studies. One of the research areas is funded by Department of Defense and it deals with cementitious armor panels for use in asymmetric warfare, providing protection against blast and ballistic impact effects. I have two students working with me on that project. One is Nicholas Norendel, who is doing most of the modeling and simulation so that he can reproduce the whole phenomena on the computer. On the other hand, it needs experimental effort also. That experimental effort is being mostly undertaken by um, William Hurd, or Bill Hurd, and he is doing a lot of experimental work in testing the materials involved, in developing the materials for this purpose, and also undertaking the blast and impact tests. So uh, I've done a study on the porosity of, of concrete and uh, put together this video. It's basically a fly through the middle of the material so you can see the voids uh, in, in the material. You can see if there's segregation of, of aggregates that have possibly settled as the material is hardening. So this would be batch uh, some mix 631. Yeah, there's there's a paper clip. And, uh, in the uh, the analysis uh, portion of this, uh, it'll basically build a database of, of all the, the voids uh, that it's you know, detected throughout the material. And so we can look it up and find out for sure. But just to give scale, so, uh, from top to bottom is is one inch. Um, the, the equipment that we use for get these images, what is that? So this what do you is, call that equipment? Uh, this is uh, X-ray uh, micro CT uh, Cascade oh, computer. Yeah, micro CT uh, computer tomography. Uh, I mean, it's, it's it's just like a CAT scan that you would have done in the hospital. I'm Nicholas Nordendale. I'm a third year PhD student here at Vanderbilt in the Structural Mechanics and Materials program. My research is focused on multi-scale modeling and simulations of fiber reinforced cementitious composites in the form of ceramic armor panels. Uh, I collaborate with the Army Corps of Engineers Engineering Research and Development Center in Vicksburg, Mississippi, and together we're trying to form these composites into panels that can deflect and resist ballistic impact, shock, and blast. We're trying to help improve the design of these panels that are used in forward combat environments so that we can help combat asymmetric terrorist threats. In order to do that, we do a series of experiments in Vicksburg as well as undergo simulations here at Vanderbilt using the finite element method and the finite element software. And I try to improve the design whether it's by changing materials, changing fiber uses, and developing new methods for improving these types of tests. The reason I decided to come to Vanderbilt was I was actually an undergrad here, and I enjoyed the learning environment so much. They have small class sizes of maybe 10 or 20, as opposed to you know, 50 to 100, as with large universities. And the small class sizes also allow for collaboration with your fellow students, and the professors actually encourage that collaboration. Uh, professors also have an open door policy, whether it's for their classes or as advisees, and for the most part, instead of having to make appointments to meet my advisor to ask him questions, I can usually walk in whenever I need to, on top of regularly scheduled meetings that I have anywhere from two to three times a week. Uh, my advisor gives me that time to come and talk about whatever issues or with research or problems that I'm facing. So I really, really enjoyed that about Vanderbilt.